Alright, what's going on everybody? <coughs> Today, um, I know I haven't done anything in a while. We haven't done a podcast in a while, so... Um, I wanted to do something, and I'm just kind of doing nothing today. It's my day off. I figured I'd play some uh, VR football, so that's what I'm doing. So, I've already played this game, like, a good chunk of times. What I usually do is find where my guardian is, set it to about here, because you can take... The thing about that's cool about the quest is, like, well, this is with all VR, really, but... If you have the space, you, you can make any game a lot more fun to play just because you can move around physically the way you would uh, in real life. So, like, if I'm playing this game, which you're primarily playing a quarterback, you can take a snap and actually physically drop back and throw the ball. <clears throat> it's much... It's more immersive than, like, if you're just going to stand here and go like this, or go like this, or whatever. Like, it's, if you have limited space, it's like, you can still play, but it's not quite the same. So anyway, here's the general, like, what they throw you into. It's a locker room, and um, it'll show you, like, you know, statistics and things like that that you've done throughout um, your play sessions. I actually, uh, factory reset my quest not too long ago so like a lot of my progress is actually gone because for some reason oculus doesn't have cloud saves which i don't understand i'm not going to get into that uh you can draw all your plays you can move these guys around these pieces um and then you pick up the marker you draw the plays you can use the eraser there's a left stick and right stick like four plays on each stick so these are the ones i have now it's, I mean, I still have a freaking tutorial going on because of that reset, but uh, the plays, I redrew a lot of the plays. This is a run play. It's also a run play. I don't know what this is, so I'm not going to have it be this. Um, it wants me to move the for some reason. I'm going to make this a little out route. And then I'll have, I'll have the one there. I'll have a fly route on the outside. And then I can leave, maybe I'll have my half back. Maybe come out to the flat as a backup. And I can have the tight end run and out. Just, I don't know, just some kind of Whatever. I'm not even going to use it, probably, realistically. But this guy won't stop talking, so I'm actually just going to start the game. Because the tutorial is irritating me. He wants me to do a bunch of things that I don't give a shit about. Now, I've played this a million times. I didn't turn on... Okay, so there's different options as far as what you can see when you play. <clears throat> there's different difficulties, and that'll change the... the ro like. The, the players that you're working with. So these guys all here, I'm on the pro league, so they're literally, you can see the actual people. Uh, on lower difficulties, they're like robots or dummies or whatever, like. So I'm gonna change this play to a run. Um, <coughs> and so what you do is you're gonna take the snap with your trigger button. Or, um, and you can either turn and hand the ball off by releasing the trigger button, or you can throw by literally throwing and releasing the trigger button. So those are like the main controls for throwing. And then you also have your left stick, which allows you to move left and right, and it allows you to change your plays. Like I said, I showed you on the board, uh, left stick up, down, left, right. Those are all plays, right stick up, down, left, right are all different plays as well. And you can set them to be whatever you want. Like I showed you, you can draw them. And that's really cool. I like that because it gives you a lot of options. So I actually changed this play again on accident. But anyway, it's got it's given me a two minute drive. You basically, what you do is try to score your touchdown as quick as you can. And then it'll throw you into another uh, game. It's not full games or anything like that. It's just kind of arcadey. 
but it feels really cool the way you play it. So I'm just going to start by handing this one off, and I missed him, so. All right. So with a handoff, really this game is designed to pass the ball. So pretty much every play is meant to be a pass, but you can't hand the ball off by doing this. Finding him and releasing the ball. If you can find him in time, <laughs> that's the hardest part. Um, a lot of times I run this run play, which is to, I believe it's to the left side. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So I take the snap of my left controller because I want to hand it off with that hand. <clears throat> and he's, I mean, the AI is not great. Now, what's cool also, though, is you can, as soon as the play um, goes to a different player, you can have it switch to them, that perspective. I have that turned off right now. I'm playing just quarterback. Uh, but you can have it switch. As soon as he catches the ball, it would switch to him. And I would be a ball carrier. There's not much to it. You would really just stiff arm and run. I skip these bonus rounds because it's pointless. You're just throwing balls through a hoop. It happens after every time you beat a level. That slant pass was pretty much, I mean, he was wide open there, so. I'll just go as far as I can, and then I'll switch it so that you guys can see the perspective spot and stuff like that. But it feels really fun to play. Like, it's fun to take a full drop like this. And I mean, you can use your stick to move. So you can fade out of the pocket and make it throw like that. And it looks like, I mean, he's in there, so. Yeah. First couple rounds are pretty easy, usually. Um, and this is on one of the higher difficulties, so. I mean, and it really depends on like how well you draw up your plays. It starts with a bunch of default plays and I've kept a couple of them, like some of the run plays, because it's easier for me to, instead of designing a run play, it's easier for me to just <clears throat> have the default ones. Because really, it works fine already, those run plays do, so. Which I'm gonna run another one right now, just to. Because I mean, a lot of the time, you can get a decent gain off of it. There you go. I mean, that's not bad at all. This slant play that I use, <clears throat> I drew it up. It's kind of based on a Madden play, really, but it's just two slants coming from the outsides here. And then these two guys running flats. So worst case to scenario, if the slants don't get open, sometimes these guys do. I should not throw across my body like that, but he caught it. I have another one that's also a Madden play um, that I use all the time. Let's see it. Here it is, right here. So it's, this is just a four verticals in Madden. So you got a fly route on this side. Just fly, fly, and then right here. I mean, I mean, every, anybody who's played Madden has seen this play. Pretty much everybody has. You just have this crossing route here. And it's just a deep ball play. So you're just kind of hoping somebody can get open, which they're not. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run for the sideline. Yeah, this slant play is really what I use a lot because if you don't get these slant guys open, these guys can get open down the sideline pretty easy. A lot of times, or I get sacked. So I have one minute left. <clears throat> Shit, I can't find a play. Oh, I overthrew him. Shit. Fourth. Maybe my trusty slant pass. Ooh. Oh, come on! You catch it though. That was my little Patty Mahomes right there. That little sidearm. 18 seconds to get down there now. Screw it. Catch that. Ten seconds. I'll just run the fucking. Fuck, fuck. 
Got it, go. <laughs> On the last play. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got another one. I it, it really does get tough. I mean, it says extreme difficulty. So this is, I think this is the highest difficulty right now. There's, maybe there is one above it. They update this game pretty frequently, so. But, you know, like I said, as long as your plays are good, um, you can really, I thought my slant guy would be there. That guy was going to light me up. Should be over the sideline. What a fucking throw. He caught it somehow. Just gonna run it here. Oh. Little screen pass. Down. Oh boy. Get there, get there. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean it's a lot of fun because you can actually physically drive back and it's like <laughs> it's like so much fun to play because Oh, that little lob pass, that was crazy. It's more fun than like just standing here and doing that. Because, I mean, that would be boring as shit, I feel like. If you just stand here and go. Like, it just seems, uh, I don't know. I'm going to run it again, I think. Got 46 seconds, 42. I'm going to have to run it. <laughs> Got it. 36 seconds. I know I have a professional level drop. It's very obvious that I'm essentially a professional quarterback, so. Okay. Do I have a water somewhere? No, I don't think I do. Cool. I'll just vape instead. It's basically hydration. Or oh, I won't because it's off. Now, I think this slant is OP, to be honest with you. It feels like someone's open almost every time. And that guy's not, and I just threw it into. He caught that, though. Oh, what? What the fuck happened? You knock it out of my hand or something? Oh, you son of a bitch. I got lit up bad. No, I'm going to run this slamming early uh, verticals again. This is fourth down and long. Oh, 
Oh shit, that's off the sideline. Fuck. He was sort of open. I don't know, there wasn't really anybody there on that. I never see this guy come across. That fucking crossing guy, like... He's never there. They can't get off their guys. Oh, I hope it fucking throw him. And I looked him down the whole way. And I overthrew him still. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fourth and 10, 28 seconds. I fucking keep overthrowing him. Alright, so that so if you if you don't beat it, that's it. Like it'll send you back to the beginning. <clears throat> the one problem I have with this game is this part right here is way too long. Unless you can take your helmet off, you might be able to take your Oh my god. I always sit through that because there's no way to skip it. Well, there is, but I didn't know that. This is a practice. Oh, this is the practice field. You can go to the practice field and just like throw the ball around, which is. It's kind of cool. It's got a couple different things you can throw at. And you can change, like, um, you know, just the way the feel is. But it's kind of cool that you can just kind of throw the ball to the ad or whatever. Can't get it in that. I can never hit that fucking net ever. I feel like I overthrow it every time. He's more arc, maybe? I'm throwing way too far. It's too far, too. Yeah, I can't ever hit that one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. You can play around with that. And then you just take, you reach up and take your helmet off to get to the main menu. And I knew that, but I didn't know you could do that during that weird celebration part. So here's what I'm going to do. So here's your all your main like settings. You can change your logo and stuff like that. You can change the colors of your team. Um, <clears throat> so there is bonus is an extreme difficulty as well. It doesn't seem like it's higher difficulty, but it's a different one. So easy, medium, hard, hard, extreme, extreme. And then um, there's a setting too. Oh, right here, receiver control. You want it to be manual. And now this way, if I hand it off or I throw a ball to a receiver, it swaps to him. And like I said, there's not much depth to that really besides running. And I mean, I've, it seems like you can stiff arm because it does tend to affect them. I, I've stiff, stiff armed guys before, so I'm pretty positive that's actually a mechanic. I just started doing it naturally. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off, I'm just gonna run it to myself theoretically. And it's like, I got lit up pretty bad in the backfield, so. Intercepted? Nope. Oh, shit, I overthrew that too. There. Death play. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. 
What's cool though is you can reach for a first down and stuff like that. So it's a little bit cool. I don't know. I don't like to use it too much, but I feel like it pulls me out of the immersion. I feel like the game's meant for you to be a quarterback. Got tackled from behind. So like if it's if they're meaning for you to play quarterback, it's like just do that. Just do just that. Okay. See? Yeah, it does work. Sideline, sideline. I guess I'm on fire now. Whatever that means. Oh. That's a touchdown, son. That's a touchdown, son. Get off of me. Oh. Okay, that's a little bit more. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't, I guess. But like I said, I mean, it's an emergent, it's an emergent thing. Like, if you really just want to play quarterback, turn it off. But, like, manual receiver mode's kind of cool. It is fun, like, reaching for the goal line like that. And I don't know. Or you can, I mean, if you really want to run, you can quarterback sneak. Or just, you know, drop out of the pocket and just kind of move around. Okay. I mean, I feel like running the ball is tough in this. Oh, that's a first. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. I, I really haven't played the manual modes too much since, like, the newer updates. That's a catch. Stay off of me. I mean, you, the disorientation really isn't there in this game, to be honest with you. Like, if you have basic, like, VR tolerance, like, you're, you're going to be fine. Especially if you just play quarterback. Like I said, that's, that's a good comfort, like, uh, feature because you're not really moving too much. You're just, you know, standing in place, throwing the ball. But if you really want to move, you can. Like, the option's there. I'm just going to throw this up in the end zone. It's actually, I really just kind of wanted to throw it out of bounds. No way open anyway. This guy should be there. It's fucked off of me. That first. Oh, I didn't think he was going to stop running. Go the fuck away from me, bitch. <laughs> it is kind of fun to, like, stiff arm the defender, so... Oh, what a throw. Oh, God, I wanted to go to him so bad. This guy's open every freaking time. What round is that? That was two. I'll play the rest of this and be done. But, I mean, you get the general idea. It's just a lot of fun to play. Like, I guess watching it probably doesn't really do it justice. But that's the case with pretty much every VR game. I'm going to try to do Resident Evil 4 when that comes out. Which I think it comes out in a week. But, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee anything. But I would definitely like to play some of that on, on the channel. Oh, I fucking put it in the ground. 
I don't mind that play. It seemed like he was going to be open, though. And now overthrew it again. Fourth and six. I just want to get back. If you take a deeper drop, you can see a lot better, that's for sure. That guy was wide open. Get away from me. No, don't go to bounds. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Oh my god, that is badass. No, I don't want it. I think that's the key. I feel like I'm cheating. Like that seems like an exploit the way that that slant play works. Cause like it seems like if I just roll out to my right, oh they're covering that side now. Oh god, I got sacked. Oh, I'm not sacked. How are they still protecting me? But like if I can roll out to this side, a lot of times that guy's open. That's an interception. Of course, now I say that, and now they're going to just blitz the shit out of me. Get. <laughs> Let me just run out here. Shit. 55 seconds. I'm just gonna go for this, like, deep ball. Oh my god, they are pressuring me hard. I can't get that first down. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't get it. Damn it, dude. I was so close. Oh, he actually almost got there. One second. <laughs> That's my last play. That's out of bounds. Shit. Oh, all right. Anyway, yeah, it's going to show me this stupid freaking screen. And you can take the stupid trophy. That's about all you do. You can't skip it. No button that skips it. Except for doing this, which I did not realize was the case. Anyway, yeah, that's the gist of the game, basically. But <clears throat> it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, and it doesn't require a lot of space, but you can do it. Like I said, it's a, it's better. Like a lot of VR games, every VR game is better when you have more space. It's that simple. But this game's a lot of fun. And they, like I said, the devs they update this quite a bit, so um, I don't have any problem with these guys. Uh, I don't know. That's about it. Anyway, um, we're hoping to come back with some podcasts. Um, hopefully soon but I don't know we still haven't talked too much about it I have some other games on here too that I'd like to show but I just don't it's too much time I don't know it's a pain in the ass doing these two you got to move the video from the headset you got to take the, the GoPro video all that stuff it's a lot but anyway there you go um, go pick it up if you have the quest the quest is only 300 bucks right now which is a really good price for the tech that you're getting and it's going to have Resident Evil 4 in a week. So something to think about, especially with the, with the holidays coming up. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching.